hello, 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 my kittens. As you can see, I am now a kitten. <laughs> so I actually picked up a model to use for streams at the moment, just because I want to feel a bit more comfortable. And I've managed to get it almost identical to our emote. So instead of this being the Lewis, this is now me, Kylie Cat. Or Kylie Kitten, whatever you want to say. <laughs> But yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. This is my first time using it today, so practice will make perfect. There might be some issues, there might be some glitches, but I'm hoping it goes as smoothly as possible, fingers crossed. And yeah, um, I'm happy to be using this today, so I just really wanted to test it. I've spent like the last almost two days working on this and figuring stuff out. Nice model, thank you so much. This is a pre-made model. I was able to edit it and, you know, make the colours my own and everything. Add and remove white patches on the paws and the tail and the stripes and things. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be using a, a voice modifier with this yet because this is my real voice. But I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet. That seems really complicated, so <laughs> I might just stick to my own voice for this. I'm still considering possibly an anime girl model as well, but I want this to be my primary one, and maybe the anime girl can be some kind of reunion, like I get turned into a human. <laughs> so yeah, it's fun. I'm liking it a lot. I think it's uh, super, super cute in my opinion. <laughs> I hope you all do too. Anyways, um, I'm not saying I'll never do face cam again, just to be clear. I might jump back on face cam next week, I don't know, or I will start grounded with this model. I haven't decided. I'm just going to see how I feel and see how everyone likes it. But I thought it was better to have something on screen you all know, to look at while I'm live rather than uh, nothing, since you're all used to me being face cam. So the compromise is using the model. <laughs> Anyways, I hope we're all good. Um, I'm going to jump into the game now and tell y'all what I've been doing on it. So let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> so this is the size that I'm going to be using in the lower lap. I think it's um, a decent size. It's a, a, about similar length um, and height to the previous one. It looks really cute. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I'm not using glasses with this, I still have to use my contact lenses because the eye tracking does not like glasses for whatever reason. So, um, but yeah, just contact lenses and it's, it's pretty good. Um, a lot of tweaks were needed. I think the mouth movement is pretty decent to be honest, to how my mouth is moving. It seems pretty in sync. It might need a little bit more tweaking, I don't know, but hopefully it looks good to all of you. But feel free to share your opinions down below if you think anything needs modifying, like the mouth movement or anything. Because I've only just started using it today, so I just wanted to test it on stream and see what it's like. How have you all been doing? <laughs> what have you all been up to? Right, so the last few days, let me just pause this. Since the last stream, I have done this. <laughs> I absolutely had to give up on this because this was just too difficult. Oh my god. I had to freaking research the airlock gate. I watched about five videos on how to do this and everyone was doing it on PC so it was completely different to console and also some things on console um, or rather some things on PC weren't on console so yeah, I don't know what's going on with the airlock gate. I could not get it to connect to the track, so I've just opted to build it over the wall. So this habitat here is going to be for the cheetahs, and then over here is going to be the lions, hopefully. So I will have to build a perimeter as well. And then obviously we've already got a gate uh, over here which I will actually have to build some walls. In fact, I might do that now, thinking about it, because I will have to separate this off. Yeah, this is going to have to be walled off, because otherwise... 
Otherwise, the lions can attack the keepers. Although, well, all the mechanics. I don't know if they, the animals attack the mechanics, actually. They don't attack the keepers. But a mechanic will need to gain access to this power station here, so... The model is so cute! Thank you so much, Roman! This is the cutest thing ever. You like it? I loved it. We've got loads of cool things and accessories, by the way. I think it's pretty cool. I hope you all think it's cool, too. <laughs> I'm still adding things over time, as well. <laughs> barriers right let's go ahead and do a wall so i'm just going to wall this off so that yeah basically I'm gonna get the cheetahs. I've got one cheetah in storage, but I need to wait for time to pass to actually get more cheetahs. How are you doing, Broman? How are you today? So if I build this to about here. Right, I'm not sure how tall the wall needs to be for the lion, so I'll have to look into that. That's good enough for now. And this is just a normal... Oh, this is a normal path actually. So yes, it will have to be walled off as well. I'll figure that out when I start putting the lines in. Let's just, for now, let's just start putting some information down for the cheetahs, which is going to be here. Just sleeping. Oh, sorry. Just slapping work around as usual. What? <laughs> slapping work around? Did I read that right or is that a typo? Do you mean just same old, same old getting on with work? shame old okay so i feel like a good spot for this is over here hopefully this gives a good view of the cheetahs i'm excited i'm excited to put the cheetahs in once again another animal that was my favorite animal for a period of time when i was younger <laughs> Raven, nope, I did say slapping, but yeah, just working hard when I need to. I, I like that distinction, when I need to. I respect it. <laughs> okay, so I can't put that um, assigned to the cheetahs yet until I put the cheetah in. So let's go ahead and go to animals. Storage, and let's put a cheetah in here. Right, so I don't know if it'll let me now because I've still got it on pause, but we'll see. No, not yet. Hang on. Right, okay. So let's press play. Fast forward it. Wait for the cheetah. There we go. Cheetah's in. Oh, look at it! It's so cute! I love it so much! <laughs> so fluffy! <laughs> so cute and fluffy! Built for chasing, built for hunting. It may be cute, but it is deadly, chat. It is deadly. Okay, so let's add the cheetah. There we go. Look at that beautiful picture. That cheetah well posed for that. Just saying. Just saying. 
Okay. I might put another one. Another one this side or a couple. I'm always using the same thing. I saw somebody else doing this section when I was trying to get tips on actually figuring out the airlock gates and they were using these screens. Conservation education board, so I might use one here. See what it's like. Let's have a look. Replace image. Oh. Poaching. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to use this. Climate change, invasive species. So this is not specific to the actual cheetah. This is like general education right okay so i'll change it back then more fool me for trying something new cheetah <laughs> Lovely, and cheetah. I might put one more as well. Because they are quite far apart, aren't they? We've got a tip bin there, so we're probably going to put one over here as well. It's a contribution bin, actually. It's not a tip bin. I keep calling it tip bin, it's not. Contributions. And then I think like one more, like here-ish, would be a good spot for that. And then after we've done that, we do need to work on the actual habitat because there's nothing in it. So I'm going to have to decorate it with trees and everything else and get it suitable for the cheetah. And actually make it look decent because it's really barren at the moment. We don't want it to be barren at all. We want the cheetahs to be happy. At least I want the cheetahs to be happy. I care. I care about my fellow kitties. That's decent enough, isn't it? Okay, so we'll put one more of the contribution bins. I know I'm going overkill with this challenge, but you know. <laughs> I have to make things look pretty, even though it's not my pot. Although I'm probably still going to save this one and potentially take it over once I like fully understand the game. Because I really like this one. I mean, look at it. It's cool. It's a safari park. I mean, what's not to like, to be honest? Okay, so that is done, and I might put another another one of these here as well. I'm thinking just one sign here is okay, although I might eventually put a second, I decided. Okay, let's just click on the cheetah and see what it needs. It's got way too much long grass, so it needs more short grass. Long grass is actually really high, so yeah. Okay, it can have more rock, rock. it can have more sand. So I'm probably gonna give it some rock, I think. Okay, 
Okay, so let's just see where all this long grass actually is. It's mostly in this area. There might be some over here as well. Yeah, there's a little bit over this way. So I think rock would probably look good on this side, in my opinion. You know, with it going up to the mountainside. Let's just make that a little bit bigger because it's not really blending very well. I find that the bigger the circle area for doing this, the better it blends. Makes sense. <laughs> it's like that on most softwares I've used, to be honest. Even though this is game and not software. <laughs> okay, play. No, don't fast forward. Don't fast forward. <gasps> it's running! It's happy already! Oh, it needs more short grass. Oh, damn, did I overdo it? Or did I misread it? More short grass. Okay, that's fine. about now. Still needs more short grass, okay? This is a big area. So it makes sense. I quite like this shaded area to be where the grass is uh, the most lush and also the bit of stone. I think that looks good. And then in the direct sun area, it makes sense for that to be a bit more of the barren zone, in my opinion. Oh, it's on its lonesome. Actually, thinking about it, while it's paused, let me just see if there are any more cheaters in the market, because like it's going to get lonely and upset if it's on its own forever. Yay, there's another one. I think that's it for now. You're going to get a friend soon, don't worry. You're not going to be on your own. Enough shelter is available to cover all animals. Uh, where? Is this counted as shelter? Just underneath this viewing platform? Really? That's interesting. Okay. If that's the case, I've just learned something new about this game. I didn't realise that raised up bits could be counted as shelter, instead of actually building a proper building. Interesting. Very interesting. More short grass is required. It's just on the cusp. I'm probably going to give it a bit more then. Nice, there we go. Everything in the green. Excellent. Plant type and coverage is appropriate for this animal. 
Apparently it's got an off in here. Really? It looks very barren. <laughs> okay, I might still add some stuff to it. Um, just because like... It's too barren. I want some stones or something. lower this down a bit okay so we've got a nice little rock formation there i haven't tested the actual safari yet by the way i'm hoping it can go up here i got this idea because after watching a load of tutorials to try and figure out the airlock gate i actually saw somebody else do this so hopefully it works because i didn't even test it i will be most upset if it doesn't work It'd be what would be really cool is if they decide to like climb up this and um, chill out on the rock. So I'm just making it a little bit sloped. I mean, it should be able to just jump up, really, but we'll see. We'll see. essentially make multiple shelters though. Get the idea like if I made it vertical you could make your own shelters I mean I'm assuming that would work as a shelter since this does okay let's just see if that's fine hundred percent hundred percent Yeah, that's jumped up to 14% now, so I think I need to leave it, really. <laughs> I'm not messing around with it too much. God, the enclosure is so ugly, though. So ugly. I'm not a lover of it, but it is what it is. Okay, so... Food enrichment is what it needs now. Food enrichment in habitat and toy enrichment. Let's just have a look at its information. So it likes the sprinkler. 
scratching tree and also uh, scratching tree, Scots pine and scratching tree tamarind. Okay. Who doesn't like sprinklers? <laughs> that is true actually. Why would you not like sprinklers? I don't think I've got the trees that are required. I don't need to put out water for it because... It's got a load of water already. I feel like a good spot for the food is probably here. And I might put, I don't know, I think only one is needed, really. Alright, I know I've got sprinklers. Or do I not have sprinklers on this park? Was that on the last one? It might have been on the last one, you know. Oh no, it's there. Sufficient food enrichment and habitat is being given. I'm going to have to research, I think. God, look at all the diseases. Damn. So, toy, yeah, toy enrichment and food unlock level two. Okay, let's get you on there researching. Excellent. Okay, so this is a public path. Nice staff room and also food. Okay, so that is perfect actually. So if I hire a new staff member And I can do the work zone for the cheetah. How come I can't select this? Oh, there we go. Rename cheetah.
Nice. Okay, so you're assigned to the cheater now. Lovely. Okay, so we're on play now. Maybe I should test the uh, the ride, actually. Testing. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Good to see Rolling the breathing stone. and release programs are going from strength to strength. That's the ticket. And I also see you've adopted a number of uh, cheetahs. You're uh, indeed. <laughs> you're gonna have your work cut out, <laughs> keeping them happy. Cheaters rarely prosper. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Sorry, I've been sitting on that ever since you, you got go? them. <laughs> I'm good. How are you? <sighs> Right. It's working, right. look! I should get back to packing. Now, where did I put those snow boots? Look! It, they can go over! I'm so happy that this worked. I would have been in utter despair. What's stopping the cheetah from running up this, though, and going into the other enclosure? Nothing. <laughs> I mean, that would be absolutely terrifying, to be honest. I don't think lions and cheetahs would get along very well at all. <laughs> cool cat, thank you. I think I can get one more cheater, I believe. Let's just have a look. One to three, two males and one female. This one is male. And that's male. Okay, yeah, so one female I need. Are there any available? <gasps> Lion! I might just actually adopt him now before he disappears. Is there a female cheetah? Nope, I've got to wait until there's a female cheetah chat. And then they will be happy. Beautiful. So for this um, lion enclosure, I might actually just do the keeper stations over here and just fully wall that off, to be honest with you. Is this being used? Oh yeah, yeah, that's part of another area that's fun stuff i see i see so this is like an unused bit so i could wall off to over here basically i'm gonna have to really be careful with this because i don't want to end up having a public path through the lion habitat that would not be good <laughs> at all <laughs> Okay, so release any of uh, eight of any habitat species to the wild. Adopt and place two new West African lions. Have at least 2,600 guests in the zoo. We're actually over 2,000 now if you look at the lower part of the screen. Um, just to the right of my model. We're on 2,071. So that's not a problem. That'll just come with time, really. So that's good. Excellent. Okay, so we can actually maybe not open this yet because we're going to need to place the lions first. Okay. There's animal market. There's no more lions, there's just the one, so that's fine. How much space do the lions need? All the way at the bottom. 
lions need 705 meter squared of space. And three meter high climb proof wall. How tall is this wall? Tell how tall it is. Normally it comes up with like little numbers, but hmm. Okay. gonna have to all connect up okay yeah yeah that's all sealed off so that's fine but i sh probably shouldn't have done that actually because that has to be the exit to the uh habitat because i can't put another gate so Not unless it does let me. I don't think so. I'll try it. I'll try and put a airlock over this track and see if it works, but I don't think it will. After all the problems I've had, no, of course it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't like it at all. Red, denied. That's fine. Obstructed. Is it obstructed by? Alright, I did it too tall and it was clipping through the bottom of that. Is not climbable as far as I know. Let's just double check that. So you don't need to put anti climb on it because, yeah, not climbable. So, yeah, I want to be using the brick basically. Ok, 
Okay, that's level. Nice. I mean, there is a way to make it all the same height all the way around, and I've forgotten how to do it now. I think that's fine. I don't think it needs to be taller than that. They're not going to be able to... It's not climbable, so... Not unless I make... No, I can't make that one the same height because it'll clip into the side of this platform, so that's fine. Okay, so that's done. So, let's make this... Nice and big as well, so they can't climb. What games have you got your eye on going forward to play or stream? Um, so I am going to be checking out Grounded next week. I've already pre-ordered it. But other than that, I guess it just depends, really. fine nice okay that's done that's sorted what's going down there okay right so a wall is gonna an invisible wall um These are great. Although thinking about it, I might just do a brick wall, honestly. In fact, I will. What about you? What games are you interested in? going to be a ridiculous size enclosure for these lions by the way there will be glass put along here as well leave it at that for now so I can figure out how big exactly I'm going to be doing this because something small might be able to go here but this is gold now this is the gold objective so there's not going to be any more animals that I'm going to need to add to this honestly so it should just be fine the way it is Dan, not many this year, just getting through the backlog. So, Hollow Knight, Callisto Protocol, Witcher 3, and others I have yet to complete. How is Callisto Protocol? Because I've heard some weird things about that game. Very mixed things. <laughs> so, I'm just curious. Are they the same height? 
almost, I think. That's fine. Yeah, so that needs to go through there. So that's connected to that. So they've still got like all this area as well. Although I'm tempted to change this a little bit. Let's just move this rock. Let's just put it there. Okay, there are some shrubs like clipping through. Oops, no, I don't want that. No, 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 no. Oh, it's part of the building. I see, I see. off this bit. It's a not split group, here we go. That looks quite natural there. Okay, so all of this is sealed off now. So the lions won't be able to get in there, which is perfect. Exactly how I want it. Lovely. Okay, so let's now do the other barrier. I'm only about 10 minutes into playing it on the Steam Deck and it runs okay. But too early to judge. Fair enough. It's good that it runs um, fine on the Steam Deck, though. It's pretty awesome. There's actually an invisible wall all around the edge, but I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just gonna oh no I don't want that scene actually angle snap height snap follow terrain off that's it Hopefully this works, we'll see. Because this should mean they still stay in the habitat even though the wall is invisible. It still counts it as the habitat boundary. Okay, how far are we? We've still got a while. <laughs> Go. 
let's just cut through the trees here. We'll connect to this wall. This is going to be ginormous for the lions, but again, if I'm taking over this park eventually, I can change this. It's just for now. This one I'm actually thinking of doing, yeah I've sealed that off so they can't view from there now but this means this, this is uh, another enclosure option so that's fine. Okay so basically it would be nice if I could build this out and come in to here so they get a view. Because you don't want people having to be forced to pay to go on to the safari ride. You want them to be able to view from a regular platform as well. So let's just see if I can do this. I've not really attempted this before, but we shall see. It looks ugly. <laughs> it does look ugly, but whatever. <laughs> um, I don't think it's going to have power here, to be honest. I could do another one coming out to here as well, I suppose. And then like loop it round. That might be difficult. Let's try it. Let's try it. If it fails, then I can change it. We'll move those trees, by the way.
I want to Why is that? I don't want to do that. I think I'll have to. I don't know. It's kind of different controls to Planet Coaster because normally you can just like click back on the path and then you can like lower it one more level and then it would snap at the same level. But as it stands right now, it's going to snap by going down a little bit more. It's not as ugly now, actually. It looks alright. Well, the lions aren't jumping up there, that's for sure. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, there's probably going to need to be a power station. I might have to put one in here. Um, oh, no, no. It'll be enough, actually, won't it? Oh, no, it's just out of range. Damn, I'm going to have to figure out how to put another one in. To power the education. Could I tunnel, maybe? Could I do a branching path, tunnel underneath? wall off an area here. Mind you, it'll be visible and they'll complain. They don't like seeing things like this. They complain and get upset. Oh man, have I messed up? Right, let's just figure out Let's just figure out the entrance to to the lion area. Um, maybe here. Okay, I've sealed this off because I'm thinking that this path can be used. I don't know where that comes. Oh, it's there. Right, okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, so I'm probably going to try and put a couple of buildings, staff buildings here. And then I'll make the entrance to the lions here. Okay, let's remove this if I can. Launch. It's not an option, so raise. 
Maybe of the water? Maybe? Nope. Move water. Does not let me. Okay, I'm gonna have to build an entrance around the little water area. That's fine. I will just move this tree. No tree is stopping me. I don't think there's any trees clipping through this wall. Yeah, that's all fine. Excellent. Right, okay. Let's put the food prep. Quite big actually, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. It, does it? We'll like it, whether you will like it. Oh my god. Fine, what about here then? Okay, so that's food for the lions and then we want to do staff room. Oh, this is going to have the same problem but I should be able to just pull it out a bit more though. Nice. Amanda, hello Kylie. Love the cute cat model. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Love, love, love. <laughs> I love it too. Is not the same path. Hang on a second. This is the one, isn't it? Uneven terrain. to move a couple of things. Can I move these a bit further back? Actually, that one can stay where it is. Um, let's just move this tree because it is so in the way. Kind of fills that space nicely, I think. Oh, it's the green path, okay.
Oh, we did it. Lovely. Oh my god. Nice. Okay, so these buildings are ready um, for the Lion Keeper. It's going to be required, but I still need to sort out getting power to our little viewing platform, which is here. So what we could do I don't know. I don't know if they're going to complain. Who cares? It's a challenge, isn't it? We can just sort it out later. Right, let me just demolish some of this wall. I realise that I've just built this wall, but for what I need to do, I need to demolish it. Okay, so it kind of needs to go yeah, I guess. Um, so maybe if I use a shell, if that's an option, to hide it. I'm not sure where the shells are in this game. This is uh, a challenge, it's not free build or sandbox. No, this is like story, which is kind of like teaching you the mechanics of the game. So this is the gold challenge now. And the next step is to have lions. So I'm just in the process of building the lion habitat, basically. Um, but I need to, to, to like give the guests the boards and the information on the lions and everything and the speakers. I need to get power to here and this area because this is the viewing platform for the lions for people not on the safari ride. So, yeah. That's what I'm trying to do, basically. But if I go to... The power area, as you can see, it's just outside of the area. And all this is not covered as well. So basically, I could do with putting a, another power station um, somewhere around here. and wall in that section off because this is more than enough space for the lions they only need like what was it 750 meters squared so even if i walled off a portion of that area just to put another power station it would be fine there's more than enough space so that's what i'm attempting to do i'm just trying to figure out where i feel like around here probably or like tucked back if i remove some of these trees just maybe just just tuck it back and put it in a building and then connect the path up to here and wall it off. So that's what I'm thinking. So what I might do is delete this. You like the solar panel? Yeah, look at that. It would cover the whole area that I need if I put it like I don't want it higher up, I want it lower down. If I just tucked it underneath, basically. But I need a shell first, which I'm trying to remember where they are. Construction.
I'm not seeing a shell. Oh, here we go. Uh, it doesn't look like there's kind of shell that I need though. Hang on a second. If I could like use part of this, maybe. Mind you, it needs to not be covered because it's solar. Screw it, let's just do this one. That covers a bigger area anyway, so I can actually put it closer. Around here is fine. Exactly what I wanted. Lovely jubbly. Gotcha. If I recall correctly, you need to make it so that the visitors can't see the power stations. Yes. That is exactly correct. on it. Got it. That's all sealed off now. Hopefully they're not unhappy about that. And that covers all of that viewing platform for the lions. Excellent. And of course we've got access path for the mechanics to uh, work on them if they deteriorate basically. 
Wonderful. Happy with that. That's worked out great. <laughs> okay, so now... Let's go ahead and add the signs. Lions. I haven't put a lion in here yet, so I'm not going to be able to turn these on just yet. Oh, it's so annoying. It's on a weird angle. Maybe put a screen. Oh. That's weird. Why is that like that? That's the wrong way. That shouldn't be like that. just down a little bit more and then it's not really blocking anything I don't know why this was positioned in such a weird way when I first loaded it in. It's made it um, way more complicated than it needed to be. a tip in there as well so I might just pop one there too because they, they don't cost anything to run so may as well feel like here-ish is a good spot to view so I'll probably put another sign there and then maybe another one in this corner And then that'll do, I think. There's plenty along that path now. Do you need to move this tree? Because it 
is clipping quite badly. I might actually just put it in the middle. Nice. Let's just double check and make sure no other trees are clipping. I don't think they are. No, lovely. I think for the most part, this uh, habitat is going to be fine for the lions. I don't think they're going to complain too much. Okay, speakers. Uh, I'll put the speaker. What games is everyone else looking forward to then soon? Anyone picking up anything new? Probably my next game, obviously is grounded as I said, but Sea of Thieves is going to be one that I'm going to be enjoying in my own time. I think there's an open um, beta for that this weekend, right? Pretty sure there is. I might actually play it. What is the range of this? What kind of the range? just paper mario the thousand year door when is that out again oh that is floating i just realized that's floating do you not want it to float no 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 that doesn't make any sense there we go In here, some food. Okay, yeah, that's Bob on then. Probably gonna need some bins. Are there any bins on this park? I don't think there are. Uh, I won't bother with it for now until there's complaints about rubbish. Okay, so. Might need to change this to brick. Also, I am going to have to raise up these two sections because the lions will be able to jump over, I think. Because it's on a slope. I've had that before actually, where my walls were all the right height around, but because they were clipping into a slope, the animal got out. Because even though they were the correct height for them not to climb the wall, if it's on a slope, then the wall is smaller. So that's what happened, and it wasn't good. What animal was that again? I think it was the bear. It might have been the bear actually. And as soon as it got out, a disease happened spread disease across my zoo which wasn't uh wasn't great chat 
wasn't great. Let's just make sure the perimeter is correct. It looks like it. Yeah, I think I think this is ready for the um, alliance, but I just need to do a door. Oh yeah, that's what I didn't do. Habitat door. Which I just need to do. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I'm just gonna move this. Habitats have become merged and invalid. Remove access. Remove access habitat gates. What? There isn't a gate. There's this. So the moment I put that down, it said a habitat had merged. Hold on, isn't there a way to see? Escape point. This one is fine. Okay, I'm a bit baffled as to why that's saying it merges when I put a gate in. Then how is the keeper gonna get in? Because they don't use the airlock gate. They need an actual proper gate. So. May 23rd for Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, nice. Ha! Huh. I'm gonna have to think about this one. <laughs> Why is that merging then? Oh, I know why. It's because this wall isn't connected together. So... Any even placement? Yeah. Right, okay. Because I've used the side of that instead of actually building a barrier. That's fine. I will fix that. Problem solved. That should work now, hopefully. Let's see. Yes, fixed it. I figured it out. Woo! Amazing. Okay, so before I forget, I am just going to hire another keeper. Want them there. And I'm going to do another work thing now. Work zone. Yep, 
Yeah, you can see the barrier all the way around. Nice. Rename the lions. We're almost ready, chat, for the lions. We've got a male at the minute. I need to get some more. But I would have completely missed that. I remember doing it. Um, I mean, I probably could have done an invisible wall if I wanted to, but change my mind. Okay, so that's set to the lions when that's ready. I mean, I feel like they're probably going to complain that they can't see them very well, like especially if they're over here. But this is why I'm going to put the feeding station. Near the front. So right opposite the view in and by the track. The keeper doesn't have to go far, basically, they just need to walk across the track. Let's put the food down. Lovely jubbly. Excellent. So now let's hit play. Let's see if I can get another cheetah, because we do need female. We don't have access to yet. So let's have a look at some of the other challenges that we've got, which is release eight of any habitat species to the wild. So who can I release of my animals? Maybe an elephant? That one's young, that one's old. That is the alpha male. That's an infant. Need to pay attention to who's an adult and who's an infant. Maybe one of the female elephants. We've got loads of the wild dogs, so definitely some of these can be released. Let's do a male. And not a female, maybe another male. Right, let's try that. I don't think I need to release that many because don't forget I've already released some as part of this challenge, so... Yep, yeah, that's done. Adopt and place two West African lions. Okay, so... Just need to... I'm just going to fast forward and hit January. So if you look at the bottom right... Hopefully the market will refresh then and we can get some more lions. Ah, oh, there's no lions yet. Blamey Nick. I'll have to fast forward a bit more. How much eat is doing? Are they happy? Oh look! They're relaxing! <gasps> it's purring. Let's get the camera on the go. We need to take a screenshot. Screenshot taken. <laughs> had to do it. Just had to do it. It's so cute. Oh, adorable. The chaotic side of me wants to pet it. And then come away missing a paw. <laughs> Dangerous, an animal escapes. <gasps> no! <laughs> that 
That'll teach you to escape. <laughs> Tumble down the hill. <laughs> Let's just pause time a minute. Is this because I've built the wall into the side? It is, isn't it? Oh man. Right, okay, fine. Edit barrier. Let's fix it, chat. That means I'm going to have to do the same for the lions then, doesn't it? can't do like select the entire barrier because it will select bits that I actually need to keep. So this is slow and steady wins the race here. No, so the advice that I heard is not correct then because I was told if you put a wall through... Mind you that, actually thinking about it that wouldn't have made sense anyway because like I said one of my Oh no, I can't see it now. <laughs> One of my animals did escape. The bear incident all over again. Minus the disease. I suppose that's progress though, isn't it? Hopefully this doesn't break my work zone selection because last time I did this it did actually break um... Oops. Yeah, it did actually break it so I had to like reselect the work zone Uh, height snap. Hang on a second. Follow terrain. We want it on for this because we want the wall to be the right size. All the way.
enclosure's not going to be as beautiful as I would have liked now, but... Okay, hopefully that's fine. Let's just select the door to make sure. Yep. No escape points. Okay, we should be alright. <laughs> Problem solved. Let's just unbox you now. <laughs> I can't believe. Cancel move. There we go. Unbox animal. Try escaping now! He's like, I did nothing wrong. I didn't try and escape. You did. You did try to escape, I saw it! High amounts of litter. No bins anywhere. Let's fast forward. I don't know how quickly the market updates. I have no idea. <laughs> Not helpful, to be honest with you. <laughs> just gonna put the lion in though for now the male on its own although hmm, it might get unhappy that's my concern is like a lonely male on its own it will get sad it's a pride animal it needs friends Still no lion. Let's put some bins down then since it's complaining about bins. Nice quality of life on this game that bins actually have their own section. There is one there already. Let's just put one this side as well and I'll follow the path around and just put a few oh look at the hats they're wearing that's so cool <laughs> I'd want one of those hats is that a good distance between the bins yes it is Right, uh, rubbish. I thought there was something on the heat map for rubbish, but I'm just looking. I don't think so, actually. No. Okay. I'll just carry on putting bins down myself then. I feel like there needs to be a bin up here. Oh, there is one. Never mind. <laughs> and there's one there. Isn't one over here for some reason? It's weird that they haven't put any in like the food well there's one one there and one there but yeah not enough in a food court area really let's try and get this one opposite so it's nice and symmetrical okay i think that's enough Are there any along here no okay and this isn't even a path i made this this was a path already here so that's a bit baffling. There's no bin. Okay. 
Yeah, it does seem to be a problem area for rubbish, so let's just make sure there's plenty of bins. And then there's one there, that's fine. Okay. thing is when I played Planet Coaster people didn't care about the amount of bins that you had down honestly they'd be I'd watch the people walk by a bin and still chuck the trash on the floor it made me so mad you wouldn't believe that annoys me in real life though people are just chucking rubbish on the floor I don't do that. I just put it in my bag and then put it in the bin when I get home if there's no bins. It's interesting to know that you can actually put a bin just like on some terrain. Like, it doesn't have to be on the path for them to put the rubbish in the bin. I always thought it had to either be on the path or just on the very edge, like there, <laughs> right by the border of the path. But it doesn't have to be, so that's cool. And something new every day, I guess. Right, the amount of bins I've put down now, they should be much happier. Might have to hire some more janitors though, maybe. Hello Carlos, how are you doing today? Okay, so that's staff path there, so... I think I've put enough down, really. I think that should be fine. I might be RB real quick and just snip the loo chat, so just give me a sec. This bath is being run, so I need to make sure I go. of truth to see if the camera desyncs now. 
I have got a calibrate button if that is the case. So fingers crossed. Oh no, it's fine. Excellent. I discovered that like putting the BRB screen up um, and not having the particular scene for the VTuber model on the BRB screen means it doesn't desync as long as I sit down um, and ready myself before coming back on screen. So it's a, it's a little hack really, <laughs> which is nice. Very handy. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward and play because we need to refresh the market so that I can actually get some lions. <laughs> That's the plan. Okay, let's see. Please give me lions. I need some lionesses. No! No lions! Does anyone know how often the market refreshes? I feel like it's been the same for a year. <laughs> Void, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? I just need some lions. That's all I need. <gasps> Hippopotamus! I don't have any of those. Where are the lions at? Where are all the lions? The market just does not want to give me lions, despite the challenge. Or a female cheetah, because I've still got two males and I need a female. Diseased animal discovered, vet requested. <gasps> who's diseased? Wow, oh, who's diseased? Welcome back, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> The cheater is diseased. Why are you diseased? Oh, because it got out. I bet you it's the same one. This happens every time. Either if an animal escapes the disease, other animals in the vicinity, or if they get out, they get diseased. basically is what I've noticed I don't think it will die soon because I'm playing on easy so there's a bit more leeway with that I haven't had an animal die from disease yet I was researching barriers oh yes I was when I thought that I needed to get a different type of wall for the sparring and I forgot to, to uh, switch it off oops Oops, 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 right, we need... Someone on that disease that's active. And I think I will actually hire another vet as well. Oops. Get that on the go. Someone's expecting um, offspring. More disease is happening. Both of them are diseased now. 
Is that because I didn't box one up, actually? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? I didn't box it up and put it into the um, quarantine. Oopsie daisy. That's fine. It's all fine until they die, and then it's not fine, and then, and then I've really just killed all my animals. And I will be thinking about my life. That's already a sign, so they're on the way. So that will be dealt with soon. It's because I'm trying to focus on these lions, isn't it? I'm going to fast forward time a bit again. It's so stingy. How can it be a challenge for lions and then it's not given me any lions ever? It was ages ago when I got this mail. Like about five in-game years ago. <laughs> Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. It might not be five years. <laughs> Baby is about to be born. And here we have a mother about to give birth to a baby in the zoo. She will find a safe space to ready herself of the birth of the baby. <laughs> Has she already given birth and I've missed, missed it? They don't do anything, they just kind of squat and then the baby appears. I tried to show you this on the last one and um, I think we missed it as well. Yeah, because there's a baby there. It's already happened. Or maybe that's the baby. <gasps> Look! Oh, they're all eating! A different baby. Wow, that's a lot. The herd has grown stronger. He's having a swim. <coughs> Check the market again for lions. <gasps> this is, oh my god, it's a miracle. There's a female cheetah. Still no uh, lionesses there. Right, so we've got our group of cheetah now. Is inbreeding a bad thing for these animals? I would assume so, but I'm not like an expert. <laughs> I might have to start like stopping them from breeding. I mean, how many have I got now?
There's a lot. There is a lot. Oh my god, there's multiple pregnancies. Rashida is pregnant. Mandisa is pregnant. And also Malawa. I probably butchered many of those names, by the way. I might release some of them for a while to just cool the herd a little bit before it gets too big. Oh my god, there's another one pregnant as well. I can't say her name. I'm not going to try because it will be an auto fail. Shall I try? Badarinwa. Badarinwa? Ba no, Badarinwa. Badarinwa? It does not sound right. Okay, so these are babies. We can't release them. Let's release this adult female. It's an infant adult female. Adult male. Thin the herd a little bit. There we go. Good job I did that because the spring box are about to have more babies. Spring box, more like spring. Fox. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's all they're doing! <laughs> Make it stop! Lioness says no, another cheese, sir. Way on this game if there is it hasn't taught me to request the market be updated with a specific animal that you want because we have been waiting for this lion since i came out of the womb that's how long i'm not exaggerating now <laughs> We've got all this beautiful enclosure with no lions in it. Look at it. It's an amazing area for the lions. It's above and beyond what is needed. How big is it, actually? It needs 750 metres squared, I believe. Oh my god. 3,004. <laughs> the lions are never going to get bored. The lions have more than enough space. What would happen if I put a uh, zebra in there? Like, I don't know if you can go all dark and put a, a prey animal in with the predators and see what happens. I don't think you're actually going to get a proper animation of the zebra being uh, hunted down and killed. <laughs> Maybe just a pile of meat. Maybe it'll fade out into the netherworld and then there'll just be a pile of meat where it was. <laughs> Part of me wants to test it. I don't know. Should I test it? The last part of the challenge is literally just the lions. 
There's another cheetah that's appeared in the market, but no lions. That poor male lion has been waiting in storage for years. Okay, we're gonna hit December, so let's see. I don't understand. I do not understand. Has the game glitched? <laughs> how long is it? If anyone else has played this game, how long has it taken you to get the animal you needed in the market? Because this has been. Uh, I'll have to rewind the stream and, and actually take a proper look, but it feels like it's been like five in game years. <laughs> it's been a long time. Still needs the uh, food enrichment. How is the research going, actually? I did the tutorial of research for the animals, I swear the actual research was um, a lot quicker than it is on these scenarios now. Uh, I think actually, I think if I click on the cheetah there's a way to find out specifically Oh! Okay. I actually already have some things. So 50% now. or not. I think it only increases the wants. Yeah, that's stayed the same, so I'll undo that then and just add the two. so cool to watch it just sprint all the way over to that tree. Is it going to do the uh, switchy scratch now? Ah, I wanted to see it do the switchy scratch. <laughs> Doesn't even care about the sprinkler. It's a cheater on a mission. Dun, 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 dun. Tell by the way I walk. I don't know why, but the swagger just made me think of that song. Facility having significant ne negative effects on gas. Which one? Uh, as soon as I went over it, it disappears. I don't know where to find the notifications. On Planet Coaster there was an actual notifications tab so like if you miss clicking on one of the notifications you could like just go to that area and click on it and then figure out what's going on. But on this game there doesn't seem to be an area for like checking on past notifications. 
which makes it quite difficult, um, especially when you miss clicking on it, like what that just happened, is they just said a facility is having negative effects on gas. I don't see where that is. Are they talking about it over here? ATM looks busy, litter is disgusting. No, so I'm not sure. Bring in a bag of meow mix for the big kettle. <laughs> Give Kitty all the treats. I think the cheetah would be fast enough to sprint through there. Just saying. If they wanted to. Still no lions in the market! What is going on? The challenge is for lions and it won't give me lions still. I'm gonna die of old age before it gives me lions. <laughs> I will pass away into the afterlife. Nice, nice to meet you. Greetings from Japan. Hello, nice to meet you. You look and your voice is so cute. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I actually hate my voice, so that's quite a compliment. <laughs> I'm a Japanese VTuber. Uh, this is the first day of me using this model, actually. I've been doing face cam for many years, but recently I've just felt like I've wanted a more relaxed vibe and not have to worry about face cam so I picked up a uh, model and customized it so I'm, I'm actually just testing it for the first time today right take me to this facility this is having a negative effect <gasps> because it's by yeah it's by the bridge that's why That was actually one... Did I place that one? I can't remember if I placed that one. I wonder if there's a way for me to like hide it. With nature. I've not tried this before, so I'm willing to give it a go. And just create almost like my own custom barrier in a way. See what I'm doing? Do you see what I'm doing? <laughs> this is what I was talking about before about like possibly making my own shelters. Don't worry, I'm going to seal it up from behind as well.
Right, do we think they're still gonna complain about that? I really hope not. Coverage not connected to habitat terrain. Feeling like it should be. This is gonna be difficult. So let's just rotate this Oops. around. Is the grid on? How do I get rid of it? <laughs> no, move snap off. There we go. That's how I get rid of it. Excellent. Why did I do this? This is a, this is a way for me to figure it out though. So there is still a gap, annoyingly. So I'm going to have to try and clone this and then... Try and judge it because I can't position myself to the other side without it changing the camera, which is uh, frustrating. Phoenix, your model looks really good in action. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Ah. <laughs> I did do some tweaks to make sure the the mouth and everything was moving at a good pace. Right. No, there's still a hole. That's what she said. I need the daylight so I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> there is a hole. Did I just place it in the exact same spot? I think I did, you know? Or, no, I moved it too far, actually. I don't even know if this is gonna work after all this chat. Or if they're still gonna be like, we can still see it. We know it was there from before, so you're not fooling us with your your rock facade. Right, is that enough? Right, there's a tiny little hole, surely. Surely they don't mind the tiny hole. <laughs> surely not. <laughs> they can't even see the tiny hole anyway. That's underneath the barrier. There we go, that looks like it's part of the- It is clipping. Mm. 
Okay, let's move it up a bit now. Okay, creative. I hope they're not upset by that one rock that's been added. I swear to God, if they get upset. Are they upset? Why has the meat just been placed here? There's a platform for the meat over there. Right, let's remove this now. So I've removed the alert. I think they still don't like it, look. If it can't be seen, they shouldn't care. Should they, really. That's how it works, in my opinion. I spent all that time doing this for nothing! I think most people prefer a tinier hole. Not all these people! Ungrateful. I only need the lions, that's all I need. Anyway, so who cares about their happiness? Who cares about their happiness? I just need another lion. I had to put it there anyway to power the... Um... In fact, why did I put that there? What was that to power? Oh, all of the screens across here for the enclosures. That's why it was there. Although, no, because they'll still complain. Even if I moved it there, it'll still catch this area of path here. There is a way, though. Or is that? Not really. Because this is a food area, isn't it, in here? Actually, it's nothing. It's, it's a prime spot for exhibits, that's what it is. These little squares are perfect for exhibits. Okay, so I don't want to change that route then, because like, that will come in handy in future. I was thinking of connecting a path from here and looping it to this pathway around there, but it would cross over. Oh no, it wouldn't because that goes around there. But I don't see the point because even if I move that to here, you saw the zone. It's still a big zone where people are unhappy about it. A lioness! Oh my god! Oh my god! Is it is it a lion? Do my eyes deceive me? Is this the real life or is this just fantasy? The mail can finally come out of storage chat. It's a beautiful moment for everybody.
I have already assigned a zookeeper to this habitat, so let's see. <laughs> in the wall. There comes the lion. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Mid run. She's so pretty. What's her name? Salama. Salami. I don't know. <laughs> Hard shelter, 0%. Oh my god, there's so much work that needs to be done. We need a hard shelter. Eight by eight by two. Quite liked like the uh, pitched roof for this one, I think. And I feel like here-ish. I might need to do another one, we'll see. Nope, they're happy with that. Lord, hello, how are you doing today? Welcome in. Okay, so let's have a look at that other needs. So it needs more short grass, less long grass. Well, that's easy to fix. See if that's enough. Hang on, we need to admire the male, the male of the species. Jazz, what a name for a male lion. <laughs> Seriously? I feel sorry for you, Jazz. You were in storage for so long waiting for your lady. Just I'm just checking now because we've had one lioness appear. I don't want to risk more lions not showing up. I'm well today. How are you? You look cute. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm good, thank you. I'm having a good time on this game. We finally have the lions. It's taken like all stream. <laughs> The market just did not want to give us lions today. Hang on a second. Need yeah, needs more short grass. Less long grass. So way more short grass and taking away that long grass. That's fine. I'll just remove all the long grass from this area then. I have to really zoom in for the long grass on this terrain because it's really hard to see otherwise. The green long grass is easier to see on green terrain. Well, this is difficult to see. Okay, I don't want to like completely remove every patch of grass. I think like little areas is nice. Elden Ring has taken over my life again. I will start that again at some point. I haven't finished it. 
it feels so bad. Still more short grass needed chat. This is a huge enclosure though, don't forget. So there's probably loads of areas of long grass. This is going to be a lovely area for the lions to just chill out on top of. makes sense that they're not lovers of long grass. I quite like the long grass around here though, just like a little bit near the, the water. You are so cool. Am I? Am I cool though? <laughs> Why thank you. How was your day? It's been a good day. I was just tweaking this model a little bit, making sure the mouth movement was okay. I think, what do we think? Since since some of y'all have been here since the stream started, do we think the movement is good? Um, do we think the mouth movement is okay or does it need tweaking? I've linked both eyes to blink at the same time because I did have problems with one eye like br <laughs> like being possessed. <laughs> it was possessed and it was just endlessly blinking constantly chat. <laughs> it was creepy. So yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see if that's enough for these lions now. Yep, so it needs more rock. Let's give it some rough rock uh, around here, I think. Really make this like a nice rocky area. way more rock apparently. <laughs> I'm gonna do some smooth rock and I'm gonna do that around here I think. this intensity like right down and just blend it out a little bit. So what's everyone up to while watching the stream then? 
When is the Elden Ring DLC out? Isn't that soon? Or is that already out? I'd have so behind with Elden Ring. I'm still excited for Stories 1 and 2 coming to PS5, to be honest. That looks ugly as all hell. I'm going to have to turn the intensity up again. nature rocks down maybe it will be happy with those as well because we've seen this before you can actually add more rock by placing way more rocks Me a fairly flat one. I'm creating like a stepping stone, basically. Now I need to make sure I'm not going too close to that wall because they will be able to jump over if I do that. DLC comes out June 21st, so a week after the story's games. Ooh, what are you going to be playing? <laughs> we still need more rock. I'm probably going to put some shrubbery in this rock as well, but I'm not going to do that now because I want to lay down some more rock first.
We're we'll playing both the Nature to Play Stories 1 again, same, and we finally get to experience it with the nicer graphics, not on a phone or a tablet. <laughs> Which is going to be lovely. Has it increased any? No, okay, I'm actually going to have to do terrain rock then. That's fine, I still wanted to put some more rock down because it was looking very... Very dull, very boring terrain at the minute. My intensity isn't high with this. So it's probably not going to increase it by massive amounts. going to do all around the edges of the water so it gives almost this sand effect without doing sand if you turn the intensity right down I might just do this corner get all the missing content we do it's gonna be so good I'm so hyped hey perfect everything is in the green chat okay plant coverage is 100% so we actually don't need any more plants enrichment okay we've got scratching trees so we're going to want one near this viewing platform over here and this other one let's put it let's put it over here i think nice Okay, now we've got the ball that they can play with. Put it there. Enrichment is 50%. We can have a, a bit more plants if we want though and I think I will do just that so let's just go on the lion and we want Africa and grassland plants so let's go to filters grassland is already on and Africa is already on excellent Double check. Yeah. I might actually just clone some of these trees, I think. what I wanted just to make that a bit more green that looks nice I don't want to be adding too much because I don't want the lions to get upset. Yeah, <laughs> see that's pretty much like maybe a couple more trees and they won't get unhappy but 
I might be better off like copying something like this. It's small, it's not gonna have a big footprint. We're good. What a place to lie down. <laughs> oh my god. Good job she didn't lie down like across the track, to be fair. That would have been even worse. Right, have we got another lion available? No. They're probably going to complain um, pretty soon because, you know, there's not enough of them really. Uh, search species lion. So let's have a look. 2 to 30, 1 male and 29 females. So yeah, I can only have the one male and I need a load of females and there's only two lines at the minute. To be fair, if I fast forward we're probably going to hit the challenge pretty easily. Because the line is a new attraction so people are going to want to come to the zoo. And we only need 2,600 guests and we are very close as you can see, we're going to hit it. Just press play. Many guests think tickets are underpriced. 26 dollars. Actually that is underpriced for Safari Park I'd say. Especially since I've added cheetahs and lions. Let's up it to like 35 for an adult. And 30 for a child. Mm, 28 for a child. They don't actually get to stay in the cheetah enclosure very long. I probably should have halved it actually. I probably should have done a wall from like here. Why did you decide to have a swim? Escaped. Once again, you've completely transformed the place. <laughs> and with those programs in full swing, we're going to make a real difference to the wild animal population. <laughs> I know it's my name above the door, so to speak, but this is your legacy now, too. Except in any legal sense, because, <laughs> oh, believe me, the paperwork is a nightmare. So, before I unleash your talents on your next project, I want to give you one last piece of advice, if I may. Don't just limit your conservation efforts to the zoo. Think of the whole planet. Conserving electricity can be as important as conserving animals. Use public transport. Recycle your rubbish. I try to do something hands-on like cleaning up the local countryside at least once a week, and it's kept me young at heart. <laughs> I just wish it could have kept me young at hairline as well. <laughs> How do you have the time? You have right. so many zoos. Well, the Arctic beckons. <laughs> See you in a few months. It's because he's getting me to do all the work. <laughs> look at her, she's like, freedom! You all, look, she's like, freedom is over that hill. I'm going to have to get her boxed up now. <laughs> right, I think I need to raise this wall, chat. It's not... Uh... It's not tall enough, apparently.
right, she's not gonna, gonna be able to jump out of that now. Feel like it all needs to be raised, to be honest with you. is not raising. I'll have to do it bit by bit then because it's not raising at all. Oh shit. Is the game like Zoo Tycoon? Yes. I believe it's the same creators actually. It's so in depth, though. All the stuff that's available. And... That's fine now. I don't think I need to raise this unless I want it all to, to match. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I've had like four how many escapes have we had today? Like so many. It's fine. They ain't escaping now. That wall is too high. And they can't climb it. It's not a climbable wall. Right, we've finished this zoo challenge. So I'm going to save this zoo. it's a fun zoo and I'm probably once I've fully learnt the game an animal died who died oh oh no oh no that's really sad we just watched it happen as well Oh, giraffe, you didn't need to walk over the corpse. That was a bit mean. Anyways, as I say, this is a fun zoo. It's a safari zoo. It's got elephants, it's got giraffes, it's got really cool animals in here. So once I've fully learnt the game, I'll probably take over this zoo and continue building it out. And I think that will be fun. Speaking of fun, it's been really nice today. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Um, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this model down below in the comments section. I should probably pause this. Oops, no. Let's pause it. There we go. Let's press pause. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you think of this model. Um, do you think the mouth needs changing or do we think it's okay? Um, I'm pretty pleased with how it's turned out. I might try and get the eyebrows to match the rest of the fur colour though. I might give that another go because I struggled to get that to match which is why I just did them darker to give it more expression but I don't know whether to just have the outline black and try and get the inside of the brows to match the rest of the fur. It, it's felt nice. It's felt nice actually still having something on screen for you all to interact with. I like it. I don't know if I'm going to go full VTuber. I might try face cam again and just see if I still have those intrusive thoughts or not. But there's a chance that, you know, we could be doing this moving forward for now. I love your model. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yay. 
<laughs> thank you for hanging out thank you for chilling thank you for spending time with me everyone if you like what you saw don't forget to check out all the support links in the twitch panels and also the youtube video uh description obviously like you know you can still see me as a person if you like over on fansly there's loads of behind the scenes stuff and cosplay photos and things like that available on there if you're interested and uh you can come hang out on discord if you wish which is via patreon as well so again just check out all of those links don't forget to leave a thumbs up too i really really appreciate it if you do and it really supports the channel so thank you so so much everybody have a good rest of your day and i will be seeing you next week and we will be checking out grounded i don't know if it will be face cam or if it will be more model i guess we'll just have to wait and see <laughs> great stream thank you so much it was nice and chill i'm enjoying planet zoo i probably will play planet zoo outside of streams by the way now because we are moving on to grounded it was just something to fill the gap until our next series and i'm hoping grounded sinks its claws into me and we have a good time but anyways take it easy my kittens and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.